When an irresistible thought such as you meets an old immovable object like me, you can bet. Eleanor Collins has been dubbed Canada's first lady of jazz. Something's got to give, something's got to give, something's got to give. Number one, because she was the first in some of those situations. The first woman, first black woman to have their own television show. Welcome to the show, Bert. Well, thank you, Eleanor. She That's hosted cool, Eleanor, a CBC a show in the 50s. Something cool. And was billed with jazz greats of her time from Oscar Peterson to Dizzy Gillespie. Still, most people don't know her whole name, much less her first. When I heard them, I thought, this is Canada's Ella. This is Canada's Billy, you know, thinking of all those jazz legends that go by their first names. At 16, she was singing at supper hour shows in Edmonton. She had courage. She was a, she was a first on many levels. She was a pioneer. And she exhibited grace, class, and dignity at all times. In the 1930s, she moved to Burnaby, B.C., at a time when black people faced overt racism. When neighbours protested her presence, she volunteered to teach their children music. That showed the kind of person she was and how she confronted it, and she won them over. <laughs> no complaints. And no regrets. No complaints and no regrets. Yes, but I still believe in chasing dreams and placing bets. But I have learned that all you give is all you get. So give it all you got. Still strong to the last note. Yvette Brand, CBC News, Vancouver.